Hey guys, I'm Prithviraj from PR75 K. How to edit like Sam Coulter used to be in my Instagram DMs all the time. Now almost everyone is asking about how we can edit like Tony Mahfood. If you check his feed, you'll feel the same. Tony is a great artist as well in case you didn't know. I'll be trying to recreate his editing style in this video. If this video helps, then please subscribe to my channel for more such videos like this and also follow me on Instagram if you want to get in touch with me. This noise inside some death thing It's only one more day I have this photo of this lovely lady opened up in my Lightroom. If you don't want to use Lightroom then you can use camera raw mode in Adobe Photoshop. But I prefer using Lightroom. If you want a quick solution then you can check out my Lightroom preset pack from the link given in the description. Firstly, let's decrease everything. The highlights, the shadows, the whites and the blacks. Note that you have to tweak this part as per your photo. This photo over here was a bit overexposed hence I am decreasing. Increase the clarity as the photos of Tony are really sharp and the details pop out. Now in the tone curve, make a point in the darks and lift the curve up in order to crush the blacks. Now let's go to split toning and change the highlights to something orangish or brownish and increase the saturation a bit, just a little bit mind you. Now in the shadows, select purple hue and again increase the saturation just a little bit. And we are done with the Lightroom part. Now go to the option called Photo and then select Edit in Photoshop CC. In Photoshop, firstly create a gradient map. Select the colors to that orangish brown for highlights and purple for the shadows and hit on OK. Change its blending mode to screen and decrease the opacity. Set it like in between 15 to 25 percent. It will basically add the tint we are after. After that create a new layer and press shift plus backspace and select the fill to 50% grey and hit on ok. Change the blend mode to overlay and select dodge tool. Make sure the exposure is around 20-30% to and then paint the part of the highlights for example the face, the hands or any other details you wanna showcase. Take the burn tool and paint the dark areas, like the shadows and all. In this photo I have to paint the entire wall with this because we don't want to showcase that part. Something what Tony does a lot is add lens flares. You can simply google lens flare and you'll get a lot of good images. You can use any you want. Import that lens flare into your photo, right click on the layer and hit on convert to smart object and then change the blending mode to screen. Resize the lens flare and make it big or small as you want and place it somewhere in the sky part.
Now this step is optional. You can just add a color lookup and add a LUT for finishing touches. I'll just use this default LUT called Drop Blues. If you want to do anything else then you can just decrease the saturation. Comment down below what you think about this and if you want me to recreate any other instagrammers then do let me know. And that's it you're done. If you have learned something from this video then please consider subscribing to my channel and also check out my previous videos. And I'll catch you in the next one. Till then, hasta la vista.